Houthi rebels fired another ballistic missile into the Red Sea area, hitting a U.S.-owned and operated container ship. There have now been more than 30 attacks on commercial ships since mid-November. Edward Lawrence is with us. What's the White House saying about these latest attacks? Yeah, the White House reacting faster uh, with this one. Now we have two Navy SEAL teams that went in and seized uh, a military shipment headed for the Houthis. The U.S. is confirming that these shipments were going to the Houthis. They got a cache of weapons in this, including ballistic missiles. They have anti-ship cruise missiles, warheads, and propulsion systems. Now, in that operation, two SEALs went missing in the ocean for the search for them is ongoing. Now, the weapons were taken by the U.S. along with the 14 member crew of the ship. The U.S. sunk that ship. This marks the first time the U.S. has seized advanced weapons from Iran since November of 2019. Now, retired General Jack Keane says the U.S. needs to send a greater message directly to Iran. All of the aggressiveness of the proxies is Iran. Until you take Iran on directly and change our policy dealing with Iran, which has been more appeasement and diplomatic overture than anything else and, and willing to confront them, then you'll start to see a tone down in, in some of these aggressive activities by the proxies. So the administration this time acting faster, but going after the supply chains, not more launch sites in Yemen. Also, the administration has yet to tighten sanctions over oil in Iran, cutting off the major source of funding. So last Friday, the president, though, telegraphing the U.S. would be more forceful. We will make sure that we respond to the Houthis as they continue this outrageous behavior, along with our allies. Now, you said they're with our allies, but this particular one going after the supply chain was just U.S. Navy SEAL teams. Again, they did get that cache of weapons that was headed for the Houthis. Back to you, Steve. Thanks, Edward. The Houthis don't seem to be disturbed by this. Not in the least. Iran's not impressed. Nobody in this thing is saying, oh, my goodness, Biden's going to act now. And I, I do get concerned about that. That is 